Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite ways to eat steak and that's with chimichurri and a herb salad. So first, we're gonna pull out our steak from the fridge and get it to room temperature. Season both sides generously with salt and black pepper. Make sure to always season the fat cap as well. I always like to season from high up so that it spreads evenly. And then we're gonna put that off to the side. Then we're gonna go into making our chimichurri sauce for our steak. Chimichurri is a sauce that originates from Argentina and is mainly used for grilled meats. You're gonna wanna start off by picking the parsley leaves off the stems. I personally don't like the stems in this application. You're gonna end up with a little bit more than a cup of tightly packed parsley leaves. So many modern versions of chimichurri are blended, but I like the original format of the parsley being finely minced. Take your time and make sure you show those herbs some love. Then add your chopped parsley to a bowl. Then you're gonna add one cup of high quality extra virgin olive oil. Then using a microplane, you're gonna grate some fresh garlic. Uh, about a teaspoon's worth. And mix that in throughout the relish. Then half a teaspoon of chili flakes for a little bit of heat. We're gonna add one teaspoon of dried oregano. Make sure you crush it in your hands. One cup of red wine vinegar. And plenty of salt and pepper to taste. Give that a nice little mix, and we're gonna set that aside. Now for our arugula salad, we're gonna get half a cup of chopped parsley. Thinly slice some chives. You're gonna need about three tablespoons of the sliced chives. Then you're gonna slice some cilantro. and you're gonna need a half cup of that in our vinaigrette. These are shallots, so we're gonna use these for our vinaigrette. They're like a sweeter, milder onion. Treat them and cut them the same way you would an onion. Because of the weird shape of a shallot, I personally like to slice off the bottom layer so that it lays flat on the cutting board, making it easier to slice. And with that little bottom layer, I just slice it down to little sticks and then I organize them alongside each other and just chop it down to get little cubes. And the rest of the shallot, just chop it up like an onion. I start off by slicing it pretty thinly across the side and then two slices horizontally and I just chop it down. These will be used raw in the vinaigrette, so make sure you chop it as fine as possible. You'll need about half a cup of these chopped shallots and a half a teaspoon of grated garlic. You're gonna zest two lemons, which will yield you about a tablespoon of lemon zest. After you're done zesting, you're gonna juice those two lemons and you're gonna add the juice of both of those lemons into our vinaigrette. Add a cup of extra virgin olive oil and season with salt. No pepper this time because the arugula is already peppery. Give that a mix and set that aside. We're gonna start off by rinsing our radishes in ice cold water. Then slice them as thin as possible on a mandolin. Make sure you also keep them in ice cold water. Now that our components are ready, we're going to sear our steak. Add your neutral oil when your pan is ripping hot and add your steak slowly away from you so that you don't splash oil on yourself. 
Make sure your meat is sizzling like this. Don't be afraid to move it around to ensure it browns evenly. After you get some good color on both sides, you're gonna add a good amount of butter, about three tablespoons, a couple of cloves of garlic, and a few sprigs of thyme. Watch out, it will splatter. As the butter browns, you're gonna want to lovingly baste your steak. This is gonna add a lot of flavor. At this point, you don't want your pan to be too hot because if the butter burns, you'll lose the nuttiness of the brown butter and aromatics and be left with a burnt taste. Move your steak to your cooling rack and pour the rest of that brown butter on your steak and let that rest. While our meat is resting, we're gonna make our salad. You're gonna start off with your arugula, your thinly shaped radishes, some fresh picked parsley, and a few generous spoonfuls of our citrus shallot vinaigrette. Season your salad with a little bit of kosher salt and gently mix. Don't smash the greens, you just kind of want to toss it together without bruising the greens. Always use a larger mixing bowl than you think you need to ensure each leaf gets coated properly. Now after our steak has rested for about five minutes, we're ready to slice. Keep in mind that the larger your steak is, the longer you're gonna wanna rest it. Say hello to my sous chef. Now that all our components are ready, we're going to put our steak on the plate. Gently plate the salad and place any rogue radishes on top. Drizzle plenty of the chimichurri on top of the steak. I also like to put some more on the side because I love chimichurri. And then it's time to eat. Thanks again guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, maybe even learned something. Comment below if there's anything you guys want me to make and please like and subscribe for future videos. I'll see you guys next time.